Good morning on this, uh, let's see, is it the last Monday in January already? Can you believe it? It is still winter, obviously, even though we haven't had any, like, major winter weather. Um, I guess there are reasons for that. I, I follow this fellow on, um, on YouTube that that talks about why our weather is the way it is. Um, but I have been working outside on the yards. I brought in some, um, some cuttings from the peach tree. Um, I don't know if those buds will actually, um, actually bloom or not. We shall see found a tangerine that wasn't looking good there. Um, and then yesterday I spent a few hours out front taking the leaves out. I, I raked, I would rake the leaves out onto the lawn or in some cases out onto the driveway from the sides. And then I, I went over it with the lawnmower and ground them up because the leaves a lot of the leaves are very large and they just take a really long time to break down so grinding them up with the mower is uh is helpful let's see let me put my shoes on here and it's like i think it's supposed to get to the low 40s today yesterday it was about the same. It wasn't it wasn't too bad being out there. I mean, I had many layers on and my boots and everything, so I it definitely wasn't cold. And interestingly, I um, when I would come in, I, I have my thermostat set at 64 uh, during the day because I usually run the wood stove downstairs. Um, but anyway, I would come in and 64 felt super warm after being outside. But, I've got my, um, everything's cut back. These are the um, black currants. I've got the Rosa Canina, like way, I cut everything way back this year. This is a gooseberry, but I got all the leaves off and then out and then back again. So that was quite a, quite a process. Um, and I've been working on that out here as well and then if there's anything that is actually weeds that I want to get out at least I can see it and there's still some in there but I pretty much know like where the valerian is where the um, mugwort is tansy oh there's just a lot of stuff out here and interestingly another interesting thing is that the the, um, the St. John's wort didn't die all the way back this year. I mean, it's doing it now. If we get any little snow on it, it'll probably go further. But um, yeah, so everything's looking very dormant, as would be expected in our climate here. But it's all cut back, so I'll just have to get out here and get some of it. That's some kind of weird, I think it's called hairy cress. That I want to get out. This is some arugula that I still sometimes pick some. Oh, look at this! This looks like it's from a um, from a vole. And there's all my fig trees cut back. Cut back my little um, apricot. There wasn't much to cut back on that, and I cut back quite significantly this cramp bark because it was shading a little bit too much. This little apricot here. But I raked off a bunch of the leaves that were along there, ground them up, put them back. So even though everything is dormant out here, it is at least neat. I did it along there too. That's um, my elder. I cut back and there's some saffron crocuses here that I want to cut up and put in a, I mean cut up dig up and replant 
in a different place because they don't they don't always bloom right here but there's a few little groups of them so I want to do that too and there are some daffodils pushing up already which is a little it's a little soon but I am I'm pleased with all the work that I did yesterday and we're supposed to get a lot of rain um, today and um, yeah today into the night I'll put my I'll just take my shoes off and put my slippers on here and then possibly 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 on um, on Wednesday to Thursday we will be getting a little bit of winter precipitation uh, possibly a rain snow mix I don't know it uh, we haven't had a good snow in a few years now um, I think La Nina on the west coast actually affects whether the cold can come far enough down for us I mean anyway <laughs> um, so that would be fun I would love to see especially that everything's nice and neat out there I would I would love to see it all covered in snow it would be so pretty <laughs> uh, but we shall see so that's my little late January garden video <laughs> such that it is but you know every season has its tasks and uh, I I'm getting at these a little bit earlier this year at this a little bit earlier I want to get some mushroom compost and put it down to form the beds and then I want to get some wood chips to form uh, some more wood chips because everything that I put down before is kind of gone into the soil um, to create borders and pathways and um, I got it I have to I have to contact my arborist again because they actually offer them for free but they have to have been working in your neighborhood uh, and then they just drop them off because it's cheaper for them to drop them off at people's houses than I guess take them to a landfill or something I don't know um, yeah, so, so that's it. Everything else is carrying on. <laughs> we shall see how this year progresses. I think everyone's at least a little bit more relaxed now than they were for a while. Um, but um, there's a lot of work to do in a lot of ways and I'm doing my own work on myself. Um, I've got a I want to get back to art making, which it's like that's gone dormant as well. So that's that's when I go out and I do work in the garden or I cook. Um, and then I, I don't have to cook for another two days because I always make more than enough. But um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of nesting going on, but unfortunately that nesting does not entail very much art making. Um, I'm just letting that be and um, we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to check in and say hi. Say it's late January. I don't know if I can get myself to do one video a month. I think I would be happy just checking in, but, but we shall see. All right, folks. Bye-bye.